In this video, we're gonna be acid burning Damascus steel. So let's get into it. First thing to note, this acid is extremely dangerous. Do not get it on your skin and always have a neutralizing agent nearby. The acid we're using today is Gator Piss. Gator Piss by Baker Forge. This acid was designed specifically for Damascus steel. I'm gonna go ahead and submerge the Damascus blade and let it sit for about a minute. All right, that was just over a minute. Let's pull it out and see if we can notice any difference in the blade. All right, not a whole lot different. Looks pretty much the same. Let's see what five minutes in acid will do. Pull this out. Just gonna, oh yeah. You can definitely see some darker color on this blade. It looks pretty cool. Here, check that out. You can see the line right where the acid starts and the acid ends. Let's see what 30 minutes does. All right, just now we are halfway through the 30 minute mark and already you can see some really distinguished uh, different carbon levels in this steel. I'll take a little bit of footage from this angle just so you can see. Looks pretty cool. And that's 30 minutes, so let's check out this blade. Wow, you can see a huge difference. Check out this backside. So that was 30 minutes. Let's check out two hours. And that's time. So let's get this knife out. See how this looks. Wow, that's incredible. You can see tons and tons of detail. That looks phenomenal. I'm gonna dip it into a neutralizing solution. It's just got baking soda and water, swirl it around. Don't want any of that acid lingering around. I'm gonna wipe it dry with this. Then to keep, to keep the blade from rusting, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some oil on this. There we go. There you can see it, the defining line. So that's two hours in acid. All right, that's it for this video, guys. If you found this entertaining or found this useful, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And if you wanna see what happens to Damascus steel, if you soak it in acid for a week, make sure to let me know in the comments. See ya.